Last but not least, you want to review your reference page. This page is important because it includes the necessary information for your reader to find and retrieve all the sources that you use throughout your assignment. So make sure that the information you include in your reference list is accurate and formatted correctly. Now, I don't know about other professors, but many professors I know, and me included, actually check the sources in your reference page. We check that they're legit and that the information you pull from that source is accurate. So when you scan your reference list, you need to check for a number of things. Number one, is your reference list on a separate new page? Number two, have you included the word references at the top of the page, centered and bolded? Number three, is the reference page double spaced? Number four, are the references listed in alphabetical order? Number five, does each reference entry include four elements, the author, the date, the title, and the source? Number six, have you used a hanging indent for each reference? Again, there are lots of things to scan and check when you take a look at your reference page. But overall, those things I mentioned earlier are some of the major parts of a reference page that go noticed if not done correctly.